1. Laboratory Rough Jaw Crusher. Since it is a coarse crushing equipment, it must be placed at the beginning of the production line. It is mainly responsible for the coarse crushing of various types of sand and gravel materials. It has stable operation, a large crushing ratio, and low operating costs. 2. Laboratory Fine Jaw Crusher. It is mostly used for secondary crushing in sand and gravel production lines. In addition, its price is relatively low, so it can be used instead of secondary crushing equipment such as impact crusher and cone crusher. 3. Laboratory Hammer Crusher. The hammer crusher mainly relies on impact to crush. After the equipment is started, the motor first drives the rotor to rotate at high speed. The materials enter the hammer crusher cavity and are impacted, sheared, torn, and impacted by the rotating hammerhead. The lining was shattered by the counterattack. The hammer crusher adjusts the discharge particle size by replacing the bottom screen plate. Generally speaking, the content of needle pieces in the material discharged from the jaw crusher is relatively high, and it needs to be shaped with the impact crusher, so we often see the configuration of the jaw crusher plus impact crusher. Hammer crushers are mainly used in industrial primary crushers. They are formed in one go without the need for secondary crushing and shaping processes. Therefore, hammer crushing alone is often used in small and medium-sized production lines.